so folks, what I was just walking you through was looking at some line stick structures of the various lipids. Can we recognize them by sight? Can we understand kind of like the most important structural features? But it's also important for us as we start to think about their uh, functional importance in cells, it's important for us to kind of zoom out at the overall shape of the lipid. So in comes the van der, van der Waals radius of fatty acids compared to phospholipids. The van der Waals radius we can think of as the electron cloud surrounding these molecules, or effectively their kind of cartoon shape. Fatty acids, as we drew, have this very simple structure with the carboxylate group at the top and then a long carbon chain that I've uh, simplified here. Now, if we zoom out and try to look at its overall shape, the van der Waals radius of this type of fatty acid, we would say is more conical. We're going to have a lot of electron density up at that negative charge around the carboxylate and a little bit less electron density as we go down that lipid tail. Now because of this conical shape of the lipid, when we add more and more fatty acids together, it builds this structure called a micelle. We should be familiar with micelles. We use them every day as long as you wash your hands with soap. Uh, the soap molecules look a lot like fatty acids, so they share the same structure. Now it's important to note, folks, if you're looking at the rest of this diagram that I haven't talked about yet, to note that the micelle in the very middle is the lipid tails. I want you to think to yourself before we join together in class together, why does a micelle not appear with water in the middle? And try to connect this idea to the hydrophobic effect. So that is the van der Waals radius of a fatty acid. What about a phospholipid? So a phospholipid has a different shape, right? We have the phosphate group, some type of X group, connected to our glycerol with three carbons. Each of them connected, and I'm just going to really cartoon this, each of those connected to the lipid tails. Now here at the top, again, we have more of this electron density. We have the big phosphate, the X group, and then we have a little bit less of that electron density down the tails, but now we have two tails. So that expands the van der Waals radius to more of this cylindrical shape. Rather than conical, as in the previous slide, you see how that shape tapers towards the end? Well, a phospholipid has a more rectangular cylindrical shape. And so this type of lipid forms what we call a lipid bilayer, which is shown to you below. I do want to make a note that this is overly simplified. Um, the compression of the lipid tails that you're seeing in this cartoon is probably exaggerated because our lipid bilayers, if you were to zoom in on them right, seem almost flat. So these form lipid bilayers that are really kind of just like sheets of lipid where we have these lipids kind of on opposite sides, 180 degrees across from each other.
Next up, we'll talk about some more structure function information of bilayers.